Advanced Revenue Management, Revenue Arrangement Management, video code ARM006. All right, so we've now dealt with pretty much all of the setups and configurations. So you should have your items ready, all your um, setups and uh, features enabled, um, your revenue recognition rules set up. And so you would now, I guess, get into a period of, of testing where you're gonna see if the settings that you've chosen is actually going to give you the outcomes you're looking for. Okay, so I've made this big bold letters because this is now really where the rubber hits the road in terms of using and seeing how this is actually going to work. All right, a revenue arrangement is a non-posting transaction. Okay, so in your chart of accounts, you're going to see there's going to be posting accounts and non-posting accounts. Non-posting accounts have no effect on the general ledger that records the details of a sale for purposes of a revenue allocation and recognition. The revenue arrangement is initially created soon after the source document if the revenue arrangement update frequency preferences is set to automatic. Now I have mine set to automatic so that's how it should work. Alright, I've done that. NetSuite creates revenue arrangements for the following types of transactions. If the transaction is subject to approval, the revenue arrangement is created only after the transaction is approved. Important. Right, so the transactions are sales orders, invoices not created from sales orders, so standalone invoices, cash sales, cash refunds, return authorization and credit memos. So these are all transactions in your sales cycle. When the above transactions are the source for a revenue arrangement, the revenue arrangement is listed on the transactions related record subtab. The revenue arrangement amount in the related record is in the base currency, which may be different from the transaction currency. When multi-book accounting is enabled, the revenue arrangement listing includes a column for the accounting book. All right, so if we now go and look at the sweet answers, right? So essentially we've done that. All right, here's some more um, details. Encourage those users who enter sales transactions for revenue recognition to use non-posting discount items to record discounts rather than negative quantities or amounts. Okay, so important. For, information, for more information, see discount items, right? That's a specific kind of item, right? Um, <clears throat> to record returns, use return authorizations, then merge the positive and negative revenue arrangement, right? So you'll see there's a video that I'm gonna make after this about merging of revenue arrangements. Revenue arrangements may be created directly from projects and subscriptions, right? Important. For more information and instructions, see project revenue recognition, revenue recognition for sweet billing. Um, I have an entire series about sweet billing on my YouTube channel uh, and in specific subscription billing. You can also create revenue elements and arrangements from approved journal entries by selecting a revenue recognition rule for the journal entry, right? So you can do, you can create them directly from journals. Revenue elements and arrangements are not created for memorized transaction until the transactions are posted or processed if the transaction is non-posting, okay? So important to note that about memorized transactions. Each revenue arrangement initially consists of a transaction header and at least one revenue element line in the revenue element subtab. The revenue element corresponds to a performance obligation, such, such as a line in a sales transaction. It is a separate record that includes links to the revenue recognition information necessary, necessary to account for the revenue from the original contract. When a revenue arrangement is updated, the update incorporates changes to the sources 
that affect revenue arrangement. All revenue arrangement and revenue element fields are available for search. When revenue is deferred for billable costs, the billable items are included in revenue arrangements as revenue elements. Right? The default for billable items are derived from the item record as usual. Billable expenses are excluded only if the sorry included only if the expense account has an income account selected in the track billable expenses uh, in field. The income account must have a different revenue type deferral account. The default allocation type for a billable cost is excluded. For more information, see Deferring Revenue for Billable Costs. See the following topics for information about managing revenue arrangements. Now, the next lines here, you will see deal with all of these. So there you can see is updating, right? And then I've got viewing, and then I've got a, about six or seven videos on a viewing. Um, and then you'll see editing, and then combination so i'm gonna in the next videos i'm gonna follow through exactly all of the different topics so i will be wrestling those on youtube as soon as i can